Hello and welcome to another one of Lexi's London locations. I'm Lexi Carducci. I'm a property finder. I'm a developer. I'm an investment landlord and I'm a relocation agent. As the latter, I've helped hundreds of people move to one of the world's best cities. So come with me whilst I take you to some of my favourite areas. Welcome to St John's Wood, sitting just above Regent's Park and still in the borough of Westminster. So if walking into the West End is what you're looking for, then you've come to the right place. Despite being so close to Marylebone, Fitzrovia and the city centre being just the other side of Regent's Park, St John's Wood still remains very residential, with a small, almost village-like high street. The parade of shops includes many independent boutiques. So if you're looking for a spot of retail therapy followed by lunch, there's plenty of options for both. The arrival of the Ivy Cafe a few years ago confirms the high street status as one of London's most upmarket locations. As well as chain favourites, a trip to the shops would not be complete without visiting Panzer's Delicatessen. If the shops don't cement it as an affluent area, the properties certainly do, with Forbes consistently ranking it as one of the most expensive areas in London. Hamilton Terrace and Avenue Road are some of the most exclusive addresses in the area, with detached mansions going for in excess of 25 million including Rihanna's secret London hideaway, which was put on the market for a whopping 32 million. There's actually a huge variety of architectural styles of homes in St John's Wood. It was among the first London suburbs with lower density villa housing. There's also 1920s and 30s mansion buildings, a lot of purpose-built blocks to stucco-fronted townhouses, neo-Georgian terraced houses, and even some cute little cottages. Being largely a conservation area, there's close to 500 listed buildings within its borders. What draws a lot of people to the area are its large lateral apartments in the more modern blocks, which often have the perk of a porter or concierge. The buildings along Prince Albert Road overlook Regent's Park and remind me very much of the Upper East and West Side in New York. Sticking with the US theme, the area is very popular with Americans who are relocating to London. That's because of ASL. ASL is the American school in London and it's for children aged between 4 and 18 and it works with the American curriculum. Other famous attractions in the area include Abbey Road Studios, which is behind me, of course where the Beatles famously recorded. A lot of fans try to replicate that Abbey Road album cover on the crossing. And if you're a sports fan, you'll be pleased to know you're in the home of cricket with Lord's Cricket Ground in striking distance. Check out some of the properties on the market right now with our friends at Fine and Country. A big warm welcome to St John's Wood. And last but not least, the lovely Regent's Park is on your doorstep. Well, that sounds like it's my cue to go and walk this one. So I'll see you next week.